Hey, welcome to Brain Master's videos. So now I'll be doing on quadratic equation, nature of roots. Okay, for real and distinct roots type of question. So it is given that the graph y equals to k plus 3, x squared minus kx plus 1 intersects the x axis at two distinct points. So find the range of values of k. So let us now understand what the question actually says. It says that the graph intersects at x axis. Okay, and it cuts at these two points. So that's why over here in the question it states that it cuts at two distinct points and from here this line, this, this phrase, we will actually know the sign should be, the discriminant will be more than zero. So let us first write down the question first and identify our a, b and c. Okay. y equals to k plus 3, x squared minus kx plus 1. So from here I will know that my a is actually equals to k plus 3, b is negative k, c is 1. All right. So my discriminant is b squared minus 4ac and since they say it's two distinct points and I will know that it will be more than zero. To know, to find out how to differentiate the kind of a sign, you can actually go on to my previous video okay, to check it out. Okay, So over here now I have my b squared minus 4ac and I have my points a and b, I'll substitute them in. So it's minus k squared minus 4 multiplied k plus 3 multiplied to 1. It's more than zero. So what it means here now? I'll be able to, I need to simplify this. That will give me my k squared minus 4k negative 12 is more than 0. So over here, I will do my trial and error method. Okay, for trial and error method, by now should be quite good at it. I'll be able to give myself, work out to give uh, two brackets, okay, which will also be more than 0. Okay, so k plus 2, k minus 6. Okay, at this point, this one seems like our inequalities in E math. Okay, but we're not gonna do the way how we're gonna do it. So for A math is slightly different. So what for me, what can we know here is this K, the points will be K equals to negative two and K equals to six if you solve it. But over here, so I'll use this graph here to tell me that this is negative two and this is six. So what do they say? They actually want the graph that will be more than zero. That means above the X axis. So where will it be? It will be here. Okay, this point, the shaded one in blue. So with this, therefore, I will be able to find out my answer. What are they? It must be above, so it should be k should be more than over here. So okay, I'll write as k is supposed to be less than negative 2 or k should be greater than 6. Okay, so this is the range of values for k which will satisfy the equation to get two distinct points. Okay, so for more videos, okay, you can actually go on to our YouTube channel, okay, or if you like to practice more questions on this, you can actually go on to our blog here, okay, to find the questions there to practice on. Okay, thank you so much.